Welcome back to Pure Data Tutorial and after having a closer look at the expression object and how to perform multiple expressions in the same object and how to use variables, um, we want to have a look at performing if clauses in um, the expression object. This is a well-known structure when we do text-based coding and it can also be performed into Pure Data and it helps to avoid a lot of confusion with a lot of objects and blah blah blah. So get to use with the if function of the expression object right from the start and you will avoid a lot of hassle in later on coding. The syntax in writing those if uh, sentences is very very easy and straightforward. You call an object and of course you call the expression object and then you type if and two brackets and inside the brackets is everything you need for the if condition and you ask if a condition is true or false, that's the first. Then you separate with a comma and then you say, okay, if it's true, then output this and then a comma. If it's false, output that. And of course, this gives an error because that's totally wrong as syntax, but it shows you the structure. Expression space if and then in brackets, first a condition, then output first and then output the second. And now we start to look at some examples expression and if and some brackets and for example we want to compare if let's say the first input dollar f1 it's a variable if it's greater than let's say 10 then we will output the number one two three and if that's false it's not greater than we will output uh, let's say make it very obvious those nines now we see the object is working, I just erased the errors and we make print object to see the result and we need a bang button to execute, to perf uh, perform the calculation or just a number box to feed in a value. So if the input number is greater than 10, if value variable 1 is greater than, we get output 1 to 3, else we get output those nines. So we check it and it's working. It's smaller than 10, we get the output and if it's greater than 10, it's working. Perfect. So we can also say if the output, if the input one is greater than 10, we want to get out this input. And if it's less than 10, we want to get just maybe 10. And in this way, we can perform, we get every number that is greater than 10, but if we input a number that's less than 10, it's still just outputting 10. So this is a very straightforward way to limit, for example, the boundary of information. Let's say, for example, we want a uh, number, we get a bunch of numbers in there, like volume values or whatever, and we only want to output the values that are greater than 10. Here we are. Otherwise, we always get 10. We can do multiple things. We can, for example, say if this is equal, and we do this with a double equal sign, if the input is equal 10, then please output, um, let's say, a 1, because maybe if we check uh, it's 10 exactly, then we have to trigger something with 1, else we output, oh, that's wrong, that's case sensitive. We output a variable. Here we go, clean the window. We always get our number, except, except for when we match 10, then we get a one. So these expressions, uh, if is very straightforward and very important is you can nest them. So for example, we can say if dollar of one equal 10, we output another if clause. And if dollar f1 um, is also greater than, let's say, 5, output 1, 2, 3, else 4, 5, 6, and it's fully working. That doesn't make any sense right now, actually. But uh, you see what will happen. 
we go to zero. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. You output, of course, yes, the one, but it's also greater than ten, so we will output the one, two, three instead of the four, five, four, six. So this is a, just a silly example you see from the syntax. You can nest if clauses into if clauses. And I will just quickly show you some other um, syntax possibilities um, just to get into the use of this uh, expression object in a bit more complex way. For example, you can just add semicolon a second equation. One, two, add three. So all the time we execute this one, it's also executing the second um, calculation. You already know this. So we delete this and we can, for example, say if $f1, the input is greater than 10 and $f1 is smaller than 100, we output 1, instead we output 0. And I think I have to uh, use only one end. No? Uh, I missed the bracket here. Sorry. And two ends. This is. Now we got it. Now we can check if the input is greater than 10 and the same input is still below 100, we get information 1. Otherwise, we get the information zero out of the equation. And we see it's working. We get a one, 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 one. And as soon as we leave the boundary, we get a zero. So this is very nice to, for example, uh, check out uh, yeah, the amplitude values or something like uh, upper and lower ranges. So the, uh, you're free of your imaginations and needs how to use the expression with if, but be aware of it that it is there and at your hands and you can nest it and make very complex things out of it and remember help and pd or functions and operators and there you have pd if function if you click it you see a lot of more informations on the if function